one of the greatest parts about Costa Rica. It's just loaded with life everywhere. So you, you're surrounded in green, beautiful river, howler monkeys calling, you have birds. That little moment, that five minute period where you're so enclosed by the forest, I, it, it just shrinks everything. And all of a sudden, this big silver fish comes up. Well, you just really feel the rawness of it all. I really wanted to find a place where I could work with a community, where I could basically support the people. Most of my fisheries, I really try to look for local. I, I think that that's the best way to do it. You, you find a local person, they obviously are gonna know much more than you. I think one of the greatest parts about our sport, fly fishing, is that no matter how many years you've done it, and no matter how many days you spend on a particular piece of water, um, you can learn something new every single day if you're, if you're open to it. My name's Tom Enderlin. I'm a fly fishing guide, I'm a photographer, um, and I guess I'm a full-time dad because that's, that's a job in itself. Being outside every day, being in the rain, being in the sun, it's, it's, it's definitely a much better place to be. Probably my favorite part about guiding, I personally love nature, I love adventure. Um, it really drives me to explore these wild places. And I love being able to, to show people some of those, those things that I really enjoy. The rainbows are wild, small rods, delicate presentations. It's amazing how many trout are in these rivers. Every little nook and cranny has trout. Just a fin perfect rainbow, big par marks. The machaca, very beautiful fish, very strong fish, very fast eating fish. And um, the way we fish them, we make these fruit flies out of wood, out of cork. And you basically float down, uh, usually fished on a whitewater raft, and just pop, pop pop and suddenly they explode out from behind a, a log or underneath the branch and, and just annihilate the fly. And the tarpon migrate from the Caribbean 250 miles up a big river across the lake, up another river finally reaching here and they're here to eat. It's really a lot more like, like fishing for, for brown trout. It's, it's not like fishing for tarpon. You're not leading fish. You're looking for an active fish coming back to a spot and eating presenting your fly over and over and they come up and just. Lots of different diversity. <laughs>